It's interesting. We're talking about the voice. That the devil fought the identity of John, who was the one who was supposed to prepare the way for revival, for Jesus, for revival. The devil fought even before he was conceived. Watch. And God used what I see as a prophetic symbolism of what happens to those who become antagonists against the way of God and to those who come into agreement with average protocol. They become mute. There was a pull and tug about this child's name before he was even conceived. There was a pull and tug even against, even against him coming into the earth by his very father. And the Holy Spirit said, look, he became mute, but John was to become a voice. I don't know if you've ever saw that or not, but I, I just saw it in this way. A prophetic symbolism of what happens to those who become antagonists against the way of God. Now, you may not totally lose your voice, sir or ma'am, as an antagonist against revival, but you're definitely going to lose your influence. You may have a few groupies that follow you around and some followers on Facebook and so on YouTube, but I'm telling you, it will not establish the kingdom. It will not establish... Man, I'm preaching up here. I don't know. Maybe it's jet lag or something. It's just like... So the angel said to him in Luke 1.13... Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son. I mean, even he prayed it, and then he, and then he, then he you know, you, sh you shall name him John. You shall name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice over his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. And he will drink no wine or liquor. You shouldn't drink wine or liquor. He was going to be a Nazarite. I just thought I would throw that in there. Glory to God. There's a lot of you out there that do, and you shouldn't. Hallelujah. Number one, it's not good for you. And number two, it alters your thought processes. And you should not give yourself anything that's going to alter your thought processes. Because the mind is the battlefield. You're getting about five sermons in one today. And so the angel's saying, great in the sight of the Lord, and he will drink no wine or liquor, a Nazarite. This was a Nazarite vow. And he will be filled with the Holy Spirit still while he is in his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the sons of Israel back to the Lord. They're gone. And it is he who will go as a forerunner before him in the spirit and in the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers back to their children. This was John's identity that was being laid out to his father by an angel. And the disobedient to the attitude of the righteous, and this is what John's going to do. He's going to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said to the angel, now I'm quite sure that we might have done some stupid things too, but look at this. How will I know this? For I am an old man and my wife is advanced in her years. He was questioning the way of God. He was questioning. The devil was placing doubt even before the seed was there to fight the voice that would clear the way. The devil was placing doubt to fight the voice that would clear him, the devil, out of the way. The devil's like, I got to deal with this. I got to deal with this dude. I got to deal with this dude. Even before he's born, I got to deal with this dude. So he's like, how, how will I know this? For I'm an old man and my wife is advanced in years, questioning the way of God. And uh, this, is, this is amazing. The angel answered. Y'all, this ain't just an angel. This is Gabriel. I mean, like Gabriel is standing there in front of you and he says, I am Gabriel. This is my interpretation. And he gives his, he gives his credentials here. 
who stands in the presence of God. And yet he still asks the question, how am I going to know this? And he says, I'm sent to speak to you to bring you good news. And behold, you will be silent and unable to speak until the day when these things take place because you did not believe my words. You questioned the way of God and I've got to keep you mute. Come on, somebody, so that I can get the voice out of the womb that can clear the way for revival. And so John is born after his birth, Luke chapter 1, verse 60. And his mother responded and said, no, he shall be called John. Now, you're going to have to read your Bible to get the in-between of the story there. So John is born now. There's stuff happening between those verses. And his mother said, no, no, no. His name's going to be John. Now, the dad's still over here mute, y'all. Are you with me? That's a thought. Just kidding. <laughs> and they said to her, they came into agreement with average protocol. Showing you something here. This group around came into agreement with average protocol. Average protocol will not unlock a voice of revival. Average protocol is the opposite of the voice and the protocol of revival. But here we see a picture of them coming into agreement with average protocol. Average protocol for that day, and they said it, was there's no one related to you named John. Why would you name him John? And they made signs to the father. Now you better bet by now the father had had some nights where he was like, man, I messed up. And he's, I ain't going to mess up this time. And he wrote on a tablet and he said some unlocking words right now. Obedience by saying his name is John. And they were all amazed. And at once to, his mouth was open and his tongue was freed. And he began speaking and praise to God. And fear came on all of them who were around. And they began to talk about the entire country. All who heard them kept in mind by him saying, What then will this child turn out to be? For indeed the hand of the Lord was with him. I'm telling you what this child is. This child is a voice. This child is a voice voice. This child is a voice. This child is a voice. I speak that in the spirit and I speak that in the natural and let the two collide and unlock revival voice in this place, in your life, in our families, in our sons and our daughters, in this nation. This child will be known for his voice.